In our third video in the series on moving to the city of Alexandria here in Northern Virginia, we're going to cover the best neighborhoods to live in. Be sure to check out the first two videos in the series, the pros and cons and cost of living in Alexandria. Now on to the top neighborhoods in Alexandria city. And I'll be honest, I'm partial to a few of these neighborhoods and could easily see myself living there. So in no particular order, here are four of the best neighborhoods to live in the city of Alexandria. First up, we have camera station, which is located in the western part of Alexandria and is bordered by city parks. Camera Station has a fantastic location. It's just four miles from historic Old Town Alexandria and 11 miles from Washington, D.C. Development in Camera Station began in 1999 and since then approximately 2,000 homes have been built. The community mostly features single family homes, townhouses, and some condominiums. One thing to keep in mind in Camera Station is that they also have townhouse style condos. That's an important distinction because with a traditional fee simple townhouse, you're responsible for the whole property, including exterior maintenance, while with a condo, you are responsible for the interior. Keep in mind with a condo, you'll have additional monthly condo fees in addition to the HOA fees charged to all the other homes. In 2022, there were a total of 104 homes sold in the community, with the majority of them being townhouses. Condos range from the low 300s for one-bedroom flats to the high 600s for three-bedroom townhouse style condos. While fee simple townhouses averaged in the mid 800,000s, single-family homes go for about $1.2 million. Camera Station offers its residents several amenities, including a gathering room with a kitchen, meeting rooms, a fitness center and gym, multiple pools, a dog park, and so much more. There are also some retail developments in the Cameron Station Community Association, like a Cameron Cafe, which is a coffee shop, Indo Chin, which is an Indian Chinese restaurant, Cameron Station Dry Cleaners, and Posh Dog Wash. Much of the neighborhood is within walking distance of the Beatley Central Library. There's lots of commercial development along Duke Street, including Harris Teeter and Aldi supermarkets. And you're close to multiple bus stops and less than two miles from the Van Dorn Metro Station. According to niche.com, the elementary and middle schools in the area have an average or C rating, while the high school, Alexandria City High, which serves the entire city, has an overall rating of B. Then we have Old Town which is located in the northwestern part of the city of Alexandria. You can't pin down Old Town's development to just any one era because development began in the 1700s and continues today. Old Town Alexandria is known for its historic charm and picturesque streets lined with a variety of architectural styles. The most prevalent style in the area is Federal, which dates back to the late 1700s and early 1800s. Other styles found in Old Town include Georgian, Victorian and Greek Revival. Additionally, there is also a mix of townhouses and condominiums in the area which offer a more modern living option while still being in close proximity to the historical charm of Old Town. There were more than 200 sales in Old Town last year, not including new construction. Be sure to check out our video on the Muse for a sneak peek into one of the newer developments in the area. While there are some single family homes in Old Town, most of the sales were a combination of townhouses, duets, and condos. Condo sales range from $250,000 to over $2 million, with the average sale being slightly under $1 million. While townhouses range from the low 500s to $5 million, with an average of $1.2 million. Much of the area is zoned for Jefferson Houston, which is Alexandria's first school that services students from pre-K all the way to eighth grade. It has an overall C rating on niche.com. Jefferson Houston also offers an IB or international baccalaureate program at all grade levels. That's always of interest to our international viewers. As always, we remind you to confirm school assignments using the public school boundary map. Old Town is known for its lively downtown area, which features a variety of shops, restaurants, and bars, as well as a bustling farmer's market and events throughout the year. The community is also very walkable, with many of the sites and amenities within easy walking distance of most residents. Additionally, Old Town is just a short distance from Washington, D.C., which offers even more cultural and entertainment options. The area is well connected by public transportation, including metro, 
bus and bike sharing services. Old Town Alexandria is a great place to call home for anyone looking for a unique blend of history, culture, and urban convenience. Next up on our list is Delray, a trendy neighborhood located in the northern section of Alexandria, not far from the Braddock Road Metro Station. It's just south of DC, offering this residence a very easy commute into the city. Delray is known for its charming tree-lined streets and mix of architectural styles. The area is primarily made up of single-family homes, many of which have been beautifully preserved or updated. The most prevalent style in Delray is the American Foursquare, a type of house popular in the early 20th century characterized by a boxy shape, a hip roof, and a large central dormer. Additionally, you can find other architectural styles such as bungalows, colonial revival, craftsmen, Dutch colonial, and Victorian houses in Delray. The neighborhood also has a mix of newer townhouses and duplexes. There were just over 100 sales in Delray in 2022, most of them detached and semi-detached homes. Single family homes sell from the low sevens to $2 million with an average of $1.2 million. However, there are a few dozen townhome sales too, which sold for an average price of $763,000. Delray residents appreciate the neighborhood's strong sense of community and small town feel. The area is known for its lively Main Street, Mount Vernon Avenue, which is lined with a variety of independent shops, bars, and restaurants. A few of our favorite restaurants include Pork Barrel Barbecue and Holy Cow. Just north of Delray is the legendary Birchmere Music Hall, where there is a lineup every night of up-and-coming jazz, country, R&B, and folk musicians. The neighborhood also has a variety of community events and activities throughout the year, such as the Delray Farm Market, the Art on the Avenue Festival, and the Delray Halloween Parade. Delray is also known for its parks and recreational opportunities such as the Mount Vernon Trail, which is a popular spot for biking and running. According to Niche.com, schools at all grade levels have ratings between B and C-. Some parts are zoned for Jefferson Houston, as mentioned in the last segment, has an overall C- rating. Our final pick is Braddock Heights part of the greater Northridge section of Alexandria. The location just can't be beat. It's one stoplight to DC, a quick walk downhill to Sherlington or Delray, five minutes to Reagan National Airport, less than five minutes from Old Town, and just two minutes to I-395 and other major thoroughfares. Braddock Heights is known for its picturesque streets and well-maintained detached homes. The neighborhood is primarily made up of single-family homes, many of which were built in the mid-20th century. In in Braddock Heights, you'll find homes of various architectural styles from stone cottages to farmhouses to ranches and split levels to Cape Cods and Colonials. Many of these homes feature spacious floor plans, large windows, and well manicured lawns. Homes in Braddock Heights range from the high sixes to $2.5 million. Most of the homes fall somewhere in between, with the average sales price being $1.2 million. The neighborhood offers a peaceful residential feel while still being close to all the amenities of the city. For those who enjoy socializing and connecting with others, Braddock Heights has a variety of options to choose from, from neighborhood book clubs and mom groups to cooking and gardening clubs. The neighborhood has plenty of places to walk, bike, run, and play. Braddock Heights has parks, playgrounds, and recreational opportunities like Braddock Heights Park and Four Mile Run Trail. Like most of the areas in the city of Alexandria, the schools seem to be middle of the road regarding ratings. According to niche.com, the area element Elementary schools, George Mason, MacArthur, and George Washington Middle all have C plus overall ratings. Now that you know the best place to live in the city of Alexandria, be sure to check out the rest of the playlist, including the pros and cons and cost of living in Alexandria videos. Until next time, peace.